In this video, I'll show you how to differentiate a function, which is a quotient of two other functions. Let's start with the function e to the x divided by x squared plus 1. How can we compute its derivative? For many people, their first instinct is to compute the derivative of the numerator and denominator. That is, they would say the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, and the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x. Is this correct? To check our guess, let's graph both the original function and our guess for its derivative. The red graph is our original function, e to the x divided by x squared plus 1. And this blue graph is what we guessed its derivative would be, e to the x divided by 2x. Let's see how they compare. Now if we look at x equals 0, the red graph appears to have a slope that isn't too large. Certainly its slope is not infinite. But the blue graph is supposed to show the derivative, and if we look at x equals 0, the blue graph has a value that is infinitely large. So, our guess, e to the x divided by 2x, is not the derivative of e to the x divided by x squared plus 1. So it didn't work just to take the derivative of the numerator and denominator. We need a special rule to compute derivatives of quotients. The quotient rule for derivatives is as follows. If we have a function, q of x, which is the quotient of f of x divided by g of x, then the derivative, q prime of x, is given by g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x, all divided by g of x squared. Let's go through a couple of examples to see how this works in practice. I'll make a table to help us stay organized. Here is the function we were originally looking at e to the x divided by x squared plus 1. And here is where we'll write the derivative of q of x. So e to the x is our f of x, and x squared plus 1 is our g of x. Then the derivative of f of x is e to the x, and the derivative of g of x is 2x. The quotient rule says we multiply g of x times f prime of x, then subtract f of x times g prime of x, and divide by g of x squared. So this is the derivative of q of x. Let's look at another example. Here is a new function, 5 to the x divided by 3x to the 7 plus 3x squared. And here is where we'll write the derivative of q of x. So 5 to the x is our f of x, and 3x to the 7 plus 3x squared is our g of x. Then the derivative of f of x is the natural log of 5 times 5 to the x, and the derivative of g of x is 21x to the 6th plus 6x. The quotient rule says we multiply g of x times f prime of x, then subtract f of x times g prime of x, and divide by g of x squared. So this is the derivative of q of x. Let's look at another example. Here is a new function, tangent of x, which we can write as sine of x divided by cosine of x. And here is where we'll write the derivative of q of x. So sine of x is our f of x, and cosine of x is our g of x. Then the derivative of f of x is cosine of x, and the derivative of g of x is negative sine of x. The quotient rule says we multiply g of x times f prime of x, then subtract f of x times g prime of x, and divide by g of x squared. And we can go a little further. We can write the numerator as cosine squared plus sine squared. And you might remember that cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. And 1 over cosine squared is equal to secant squared. So now you've seen the quotient rule and several examples of how to use it to compute derivatives.